A while ago, I did a tutorial on Darktable, just saying how to use the basics of it. And I've had a few people ask me what the difference is between Darktable and Lightroom. And um, if you're a photographer, then you know that Lightroom is basically what everyone uses for doing raw photo editing. It's probably the most popular program for that. And so I just wanted to talk a little bit about the differences between Lightroom and Darkroom and uh, kind of just show the similarities and the differences. So to do that, what I did is um, there's actually a really good website called Fro Knows Photo. And uh, the guy who runs this website, his name is Jared, he actually goes through and he shows you tutorials in Lightroom. So, so what I'm going to do today is I'm, I'm going to kind of go through the tutorial that Jared did in Lightroom and see if I can duplicate the process in Darktable. And uh, one great thing about this website uh, is if you sign up for the website, he will actually let you download the photos that he edits. So I, I went through and, and you can see his edit and he had a guest that did an edit as well in Lightroom and so we're going to try to do these edits in Darktable uh, and you can actually go to the website and download the the raw file so it's great so to begin uh, I'll just show so this is kind of how it looks in Lightroom and then this is how it looks in Darktable so uh, it looks fairly similar um, and then the first thing that he did was um, we'll obviously just rotate this image and in Darktable there's a preset to do that by negative 90 degrees so we'll start out with that and uh, so that's what Jared got and then the next step he did is um, he increase the yellow and the exposure and the contrast and the black levels just a bit and you can't really tell much of a difference but we're gonna go ahead and do that um, and again since it, it is a different program we're not going to be doing it the exact same way but I will go to we'll go to basic and white balance and I, I did a preset for that uh, I also did a preset for the exposure and that's where you can adjust the exposure and the black levels so I'll go ahead and do that and um, so there's Jared's edit and there's mine uh, I think they look pretty close so again I didn't do it exactly the same way he did it um, you know I had to adjust some of the red and the green to get the yellows uh, but it, it looks pretty close I think so the next thing that he did um, will toggle back and forth you can see on the girl's face how he he lit up just a section of her face there's kind of a shadow going across the left side of her face now that is one limitation that I noticed um, with dark table Lightroom does a great job of letting you focus in on certain areas and doing edits that way I have not found a way to do that in Darktable so unfortunately we can't do that at all um, and then after that Jared just made a few more minor tweaks where he added a bit of the magenta and the exposure uh, he bumped the exposure up a little bit more and added a little bit more yellow and so we can go ahead and do that as well we'll just kinda bump up the exposure a bit um, can bump the tint up just a bit as well and uh, so you know again it's pretty close but main difference here is going to be in dark table we're going to have this shadow across the left side of her face whereas in Jared's edit it's a lot less noticeable um, so here you know you can see what we started off with 
and then we get just making a few tweaks. So Darktable does a great job and so far um, can't do all that Lightroom will do but it comes pretty close. And so we will go back um, to the original image and then uh, Jared invited a guest on his site to do a, an additional edit so we will look at Dom's edit and see what he did so again he rotated the image to begin with and then he actually did um, luminance in his HSL tools in Lightroom and he enhanced the orange red and yellow and brought the green luminance down a bit you can look at a slight difference between these two images um, so what I will do I will go to color and color zones I just made a preset um, where I increased some of the colors a bit on the saturation and um, so you know not exactly the same there's really no way I could find in dark table to to duplicate the steps that he did uh, then another thing that he did is um, you can tell a little bit but and, and this is the original on the left obviously and his edit on the right but he he burned the background and then he increased the brightness on the girl's face and again that's something you can't really do in dark table just because you can't focus on one area so we'll kind of skip that step and um, go on to the next thing that he did um, he changed the white balance um, to cloudy so we can do the same thing so uh, we will go here I again I just created a, a preset um, for a cloudy white balance and he he actually did say a temperature of 5000 and a tint of 0.8 but I found when I did that it looked pretty weird so I kind of just did my own things here to get what I thought was pretty close oh yeah and one, one other thing he did was he cropped it so we'll go ahead and, and we'll crop it um, so we'll go back to the crop and rotate tool and um, yeah we'll, we'll just do a, a free crop let's see how he got it okay crop about here and one thing that I didn't know how to do before in dark table when you crop it you actually need to double click to apply the crop it took me a while to figure that out and so I thought the crop tool was terrible but turns out I'm just stupid so so the crop works pretty well um, yeah that's pretty close so we'll leave it like that and one other thing that he did is he he masked he used a mask brush in Lightroom and he brought the clarity up a bit and the sharpness down and he increased some of the vibrance and so you can you can tell by looking at the the picture he added kind of this this glow effect and he, he brought the clarity up just a bit um, and he also worked on the tone curve so what I will do is I'll go to correct and I'll use the equalizer tool and again I, I created a preset for this um, just to increase the luma a bit give it kind of that uh, you know that glow effect um, and then the final thing that he did in his image okay yeah so this is his final image is he he did some tone curve adjustments and he what he did is he brought the bottom down here like this and the top up a bit um, I didn't get the same results that he did so I just created my own preset uh, and I kinda actually brought the bottom up a bit and that's about all I did and so there you can see mine and you can see his not 
not quite the same but still dark room I think does do a pretty good job if you look at the original and then again at the edit you can definitely tell you know better colors a little more vibrant the crop is nice and so that's basically it so again I, I highly recommend you go to fronosphoto.com and you know start playing around um, follow Jared's tutorials they're, they're great tutorials you can download the raw files and then just try to follow along in dark table and and see what you can do dark table obviously not as powerful as lightroom but for being a free program it's absolutely fantastic and does a great job